Hi, collective friends. Sandra from FourYearChi.com here today to do your weekly tarot and oracle card reading for July 18th through the 24th of 2022. Thanks for being here with me. Well, I just had some sort of disheartening news yesterday that the laptop that I use for my videos, most of my videos, and especially the 12 Zodiac readings, has uh, taken a dive six feet under, and there's no coming back. So I'm going to have to wrap my brain around doing the 12 Zodiac readings on my phone, which I'm not thrilled about, but I will if I have to, because the simple fact is getting a new one and having it formatted just the right way to do videos probably isn't um, conceivable for the deadline for August. So anyway, you'll still get, so you're going to still get your videos and you're still going to get your extendeds on Patreon. For those of you that subscribe to me on Patreon, thank you very much. Um, and they will be on time. They just may look different, but the bottom line is you're still going to hear me motor mouthing, which, which is the most important, right? So your card for Monday, Tuesday. Now, this appears to be a continuation of last week. Hopefully everyone around you stayed on their medication. It was a very strange week. And I feel like the Capricorn full moon really threw a lot of people a curveball that they weren't expecting to deal with. And then um, all of a sudden five different things happen and they had to drop everything and deal with a certain situation. So this is what I mean by this. This is the moon card in traditional tarot. There could be a cancer, um, cancer the crab that is, who presents themselves to you Monday and Tuesday, or this could be you, uh, a little continuation over the weekend, a little depression, maybe inward reflection, looking at the aspects of your personality and your life and your emotional life, spiritual life, physical life that you don't like, and you're wondering if it will change what you can do to change. Now, this reading is really hitting home for me today. Be true to you. So what this tells me is if you have had any event happen recently, particularly last week or over the weekend also, um, or it could be in the recent past, you know, couple of weeks, maybe couple of months, where someone has told you something that you were questioning the truth about, perhaps they've told you to change your ways, or to act differently, or perhaps they've led you down a path of some rabbit hole that does not lead you to any answers, but you knew the truth the whole time. And perhaps you disregarded it or disregarded a portion of it or set it aside in order for you to listen to the person that was giving you the line of BS. It is time to get back to your truth. What do you feel like is true? Now, some of you may say, well, I don't know what's true, Sandra. I need some answers. Well, in that case, I would book a reading. It doesn't have to be with me, but someone you trust. Or if you're not into booking personal sessions, which let's face it, some people aren't, I would, if I were you, ask the higher power to give you a sign in the direction that you should go. Make it a clear sign. It could be in a dream. Ask before you go to sleep to receive a sign about what you should do about this situation in particular. You're feeling sort of down or in the dumps, and it's because someone has said something to you recently that wasn't true. Okay? Now, here we go. It get, The energy gets amplified and intense. Wednesday and Thursday, stand your ground. Now, for many of you, this could be a health situation, a health concern. This doesn't have to be your own health concern. This could be a concern of someone around you, particularly if you're in charge of the health of your family members, your children, your parents, if you're a caretaker, something like that. Health care change. Typically, this means changing doctors. I cannot tell you how many times I've given this message in the past two years. 
a lot of doctors are getting it wrong right now for whatever reason. And you are having to stand up for either yourself or someone whose voice cannot be heard or isn't being heard to say, hey, look, now I'm giving you all an example. It doesn't have to be this way. For some of you, it will be this way. Hey, look, we've done the medication. We've done everything that you have prescribed and you have ordered. You have done all the tests that there is to do. And things aren't getting better, or in some cases, things are getting worse. And something needs to be done here, and it's not the same old, same old. Second, it's time for a second and third opinion for some of you. Now, here we have this weekend. For some of you, once again, this is going to be a continuing theme. For others of you, this is going to be a completely different um, subject matter scenario for the weekend. Disruption, yes, that is the Falling Tower card in traditional tarot. It means that shit is hitting the fan. If it's not hitting the fan for you this weekend, it's hitting the fan for someone that you know, someone that's close to you, um, or in your environment. I've seen that happen too, and especially recently. Now, let me just say this. If this is regarding your environment and you have weekend plans where you're supposed to go somewhere to a big concert where there's a big um, crowd of people, it is going to be important for you to check in with your higher power on this one. If you had, you know, is it safe for me to go? Is it safe for me to travel? Is it safe for me to stay there? Okay. Keep asking the higher power the questions and see how you feel. See how your body reacts. Are, do you have a knot in your stomach or do you feel nauseous or do you feel dizzy? Those are all warning signs, everyone. It is time to take heed of warnings. If you have a feeling that something not great or bad will happen, do not get in the car and go. For those of you, this is going to be parents. You're going to be parents and your child is going to ask you to go somewhere and you are not going to have a good feeling about it. And it is time to listen on those feelings and say no. And yes, there's going to be drama. Yes, they're going to be angry, but you know what? I would rather have a child who is angry and safe than happy and unsafe. Am I right? Can I get an applause from the people in the front, in the middle, and the back? Now look at this. Take the next step now. For some of you, this is not going to be something that you can prevent. And it's because you would not have taken this particular step whatever this card is describing, unless the shit truly hit the fan. Does that make sense, everyone? Drop me a line. You know, I love to hear from you. Much love to all of you, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.